Greetings, I hope you're doing well today. My name is Dr. Jeanette DeWitt. I'm a doctor of physical therapy, a certified athletic trainer, a certified precision neuromuscular therapist, and a certified personal trainer. I also have specialties in fitness nutrition, corrective exercise, and the exercise is medicine credential. I am super excited. I had an amazing day in the office today. I spe spe specialize, excuse me, specialize in working with people with migraines, headaches, neck pain, and jaw pain. And today, two of my clients in my office, and I, and I offer virtual wellness um, programs as well that address headaches, migraines, neck pain, and jaw pain. But today, I actually had two clients come into the office for a medical massage, and I took them through my Movement is Medicine program in conjunction with their medical massage. And they had amazing results. One of my clients had a 30 out of 100 symptoms. They were actually down, but yesterday her symptoms were much higher in the 60 and 70 range. And today she didn't come in as flared up, but we reduced her symptoms from 30 to zero within just 15, 20 minutes. And I just wanna ask you, if you could reduce your headache symptoms from a 20, a 30, a 60, a 70 to zero in 20 minutes, how would that impact your life? For me, it's a game changer because I've had symptoms in the 70 and 80 range from neck issues and headache symptoms. And I know how to control my symptoms and can take them down through my Movement as Medicine program. It's something that I've worked on for several years and actually have mastered and I'm one of um, 10 master clinicians in the country now who specialize in this. One of the coolest things is my other client, she has tremendous brain fog and she gets vertigo and she gets headaches. She has some gut health issues as well. And all of these symptoms are actually really common in women with migraines and headaches or jaw issues. They also have inner ear issues. They have digestive issues. And it's all because this basal ganglion area in their head kind of sends signals to the front of their face through the trigeminal nerve. It can be triggered to activate other parts of the nerve and the cranial nerves of the head and face. It can trigger the vagus nerve that goes from the brain to the gut and create nausea and make somebody feel like their stomach's upset when really it's actually part of their headache symptoms. So in fact, young children, usually like six, seven, eight years old, their first signs of migraines are actually abdominal migraines. And so they often get misdiagnosed with a bunch of gastrointestinal issues when really they're suffering from migraines. And as they move into adolescence, they actually experience the headache and the migraine symptoms, especially if they have a parent, uh, either a mom or a grandmother who's also experienced migraines. That is a genetic factor that tends to be more common in women than in men. But what was so cool about today is both of these ladies came in with symptoms and when they left, their symptoms were at least 50% better for the one who has experienced gut issues and vertigo. And for the other one, her symptoms went to nothing. And this is what I did. This is how I tested them to see if their body was in symmetry or not in symmetry. There's a lot of factors that can play into a body's alignment. And what we have come to discover is that when the body between the, the one side of the body and the other side of the body, or between the muscle groups on the front of the body and the muscle groups on the back of the body, when those are closest to symmetry, which means on my scale of zero to 100, they are receiving a zero or a five. When their symptoms are zero to five out of 100, they feel amazing. When their symptoms are more than that, they don't feel so good. That's when the dizziness is there, the brain fog, the neck pain, the headaches, the migraine, the uh, kind of feeling like, oh, I don't feel so good. I feel a little off today, all of that. But what I want to show you is what I took them through because this might help you too. Let me readjust my monitor here and show you. So all I had them do 
is go through a few simple movements. We tested the upper body by doing an arm raise. We tested the trunk by doing a trunk rotation. And we tested the lower body by doing a seated leg raise like that. And then we tested side bending and side bending and rotation and rotation. And my question to you is go ahead, and let me readjust this again. Go ahead and try those movements on yourself. Find out, does one side of the body feel better than the other? I like to say, does one side of the body feel yucky or does the other side of the body feel yummy or vice versa? What you're looking for is if you have a score, so we did an upper body, a trunk rotation, and a lower body leg raise, then we did two neck movements to see if that were an influencer or they were an influencer. It's five quick movements. If you have five out of five movements where one side is more involved than the other or is yuckier than the other, then you have asymmetries. And when you are scoring, if you have five out of five asymmetries, your body is not in proper alignment. It's not in symmetry, but you can fix yourself by taking a yummy movement and making it the yucky movements feel better. Now that's a whole other story, but what I want you to do is test yourself. And if you find that you have five out of five symptoms or five out of five movements that feel yucky, or even if you find that you have one out of five that feels yucky, you have something that's not in symmetry and that can be triggering other symptoms in your body. If you are experiencing that and you want to learn how to fix yourself and make your yucky stuff turn into yummy, then what I want you to do is go it down into the description below and look up my link so that you can schedule a free complimentary inquiry session with me. And I will walk you through some testing and I will tell you if movement can be the answer and the key to unlocking symptoms for a lifetime. I hope to hear from you. Go ahead and go through those movements. And I can't wait to, to learn how your body responded. Thanks a lot.